Welcome back, Buddha here. I just wanted to show you guys uh, a little path for some of the newer players. Um, this will allow you to get levels. It will allow you to level up your crafting skills. It will allow you to have three complete storage chests full of crafting materials that you'll need to progress your crafting later on. Uh, it will make you a lot of money and you'll be able to find every resource along the way. So we'll start off, you can start off at any of the towns in Everfall, in Monarch's Bluff, or in Windsward. So all you're gonna need to do is you're gonna go into, let's start here with Windsward. You're gonna scroll in, you'll go up to the Town Projects board and you'll pick up the Town Projects board. So depending on what materials you have at the time, you might just be able to complete all of them. I recommend using one of the towns as your main hub. So you could put your house there or you can just store the majority of your crafting materials, like your iron that weighs a lot, so that you can go to all of the towns and pick up all the quests that are to craft iron armor. Um, so you can just do it all in one town and store the heavy mats in your bank. But there are a few mats that I would recommend you keep on you at all times, which you'll be able to farm along the way. So keep, keep green wood on you, have 250 on you, have 250 aged wood on you. Um, you can store the remainder of that in each of the towns as you run through. So as you do the quest, you're just refreshing your, uh, your storage unit. And therefore the next time that big quest comes up, you'll still have some on you. You'll have some in the bank and then you can replenish as you leave town to the next one. Uh, you'll also want to have rawhide as much rawhide as possible. I recommend keeping it as rawhide until you need to craft into coarse leather or rugged leather if need be. Uh, hemp as well keep it as fiber until you need it to be either uh, sateen or um, linen because there are some quests where you can just turn in the fiber as well uh, along the way here I'll show you the three towns so we'll start here in uh, Windsward if you start here I just kind of run straight over to the Everfall uh, uh, settlement so you can just go from the settlement you can stay up in the mountainous areas uh, go through here, uh, stay over here, you'll probably find some hemp or some, some fruits over here, chop down some trees, get to the settlement, pick up all the town board quests here, and then uh, store any of your heavy materials uh, or keep some on you. If this town doesn't have many materials, you can drop some off. Uh, after about two or three loops, each town should have enough materials to where you can craft anything. Uh, but it's nice to keep a lot of the heavy stuff in one location you can choose. And then once you pick those up, you can take off through the town. This is kind of where I find most of my iron is going through the mountains uh, up in here. Uh, keep along the mountainside and then go into the settlement. You can also pick up some of the faction quests. So like if you really wanted to go up through the mountain to collect more iron ore and then come in through here, complete these and take them back to the settlement. It's another way of getting extra experience. So you can pick up all the faction quests in each uh, territory. If you wanna pick up the PVP ones, they're usually out of the way, but some of the PVE ones will be along the way too. And if for some reason you run through and there's corrupted portals and you can solo one of them, or if there's a group there, that's some extra XP along the way as well. So just keep in mind to kill every animal you see, skin them for the rawhide. You'll probably need them for the quests on the town boards as well. If you get any town board quests that are for cooking, um, or some of the higher materials, I would toss those. Uh, you On this route, you should be able to find buffalo as well. You might have to come down here a little bit um, before going into uh, Windsward. This area has buffalo, this area has all the animals you need to kill. You'll even see them along the way here too. Buffalo is a little bit harder. But as you do the rotation, you'll continually have things to turn in. You'll continually get the upgraded uh town boards you can do your faction quests along the way as well and it's a really good loop to get you ready for late game to get you a lot of experience to get you a lot of standing for the territories as well which gives you extra perks so this is a great way for beginning players to get in if you enjoyed this content go ahead and hit the like subscribe button i'm also streaming on twitch at twitch.tv slash voodoo and i'm also on twitter uh, at voodoo that's b-r-u-h all right thanks guys see you later